Keep in mind, we just talked about $88,000 of this was paid out by the customer. We collected it, and we actually paid it to Dominion, okay? Then they gave us a break on a, on our utility bill that we got through FEMA, okay? That $88,000 cash still needs to be replaced, and I think in one year or in one month, that would be be a lot to try to do. So not the next year idea, but I think we need to do need to spread it out over a period of time so that it, actual $88,000 isn't realized all in one month. Okay. Chris, what you got? What happens if a customer disconnects service? Um, how do they get paid out? That's a good point. I guess they I lose, you, you, except from, from what I'm saying, what I'm hearing, what Jennifer <coughs> just expressed. So if I used a lot of power back when those rates were getting charged the true up, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden I use a lot less, I'm not getting back the full amount that I paid in because it's being based off of what I'm currently using, not what I was using. So but I don't think there's a perfect methodology not, we can go to each account. Yeah. So I see what you're talking about, and it's not going to be perfect. So that technically that money would get allocated to your neighbors next door. Right, almost, because right? technically we locked up that true up because it was a legal liability, and it could have sat there for years. I mean, I mm -hmm. was dumbfounded that Vima got it settled so quick. So, so it could have been locked up for two years, and... You know, but it's just it's how we adopted that PCA as a pass through. So you know, as we get passed through the the issues from BEMA, then we pass it on to the customer. So, you know, your customer base changes from year to year. So it's just. That's so I mean, you're done. talking if if I'm looking at the eight month credit, um, it goes from. So six dollars roughly. But, so six dollars over she, eight months. She is changing the fuel adjustment rate right now. So the new bills are. If you guys did do nothing with the true up right now, the customers are going to see a ten dollar increase on the next bills Correct. that go out. If you do nothing, but if you if you adopt to give out the true up credit, then yeah, they would own that dependent on which scenario you. Pick. So I mean, if if Ben were to do this, and I can see where Philip says, we probably can't. A thousand usage would equate to forty nine dollars almost. It's about what is owed if you only used a thousand. My figure in total, you mean? In total. In total. Yeah. Forty eight dollars, forty nine dollars. Mm -hmm. So we're not talking about huge money. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I don't, I, it's I don't, one way or the other. Yeah, it doesn't. Really, I could go with any of them. Yeah, I think I'd say let's just go to the full council because it's not like either C or A and B are pretty much. Why did y'all choose eight and nine? Because they're so close in. Because it cleaned up at the end of the three years. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering well, why. You had to ask. You didn't know that answer already? Why? Okay. <laughs> and that does make some sense to get it off the books by Absolutely. the end of the fiscal year. Yeah. Gotcha. Doesn't pull me one way or the other. And my, and I don't, either way, the money's going back to the citizen. It's going back to the citizen. And that's all I care about. Yeah. Yep. Whether it goes all back over time or we give more back quickly. Either way, come April, like you said. You're going to see another fuel adjustment jump. Yeah. So we're not going to make a recommendation. Let's just go to full council on that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Dodge. Okay. It's not that big of a. I mean, more about it. somebody, so somebody on Monday has a strong Monday feeling about it. Correct. On what yeah. you do so I'd much rather all seven be able to have a say instead of mm -hmm. okay. getting a recommendation from Jake and I, which yeah. we really don't. You can do right. I mean, if you want me to calculate it, I'm giving it back over six months. You know, if you want the customers to be a credit, my, my problem with that is you guys know our issues with right now. So if Great. I make it too big, <laughs> more so complicated you get the system. Right. Yeah. If I make it too for, for um, right now, for right now. Real quick, we quit collecting it once we hit the 459. How many months did it take for the 459 to be collected? The full 12 months? It took the full 12 billing periods. Okay, well, never mind. So much for that theory. Because Dan and I calculated the charge mm -hmm. based on the prior year's kilowatt usage. So it's like the whole, the whole tier was based on kilowatt usage. So it was based on, we, they, people paid into it for 12 billing periods. Mm -hmm. 
right. But then yeah. some customers who might have only been out, only paid into it six months. Right. So that, that, that's right. where we really cross mm. hairs. Yeah. You're never going to make it perfectly equalized. <laughs> All right. Any other questions? Any questions from the audience? <laughs> Nothing? Philip, you got anything else? Nope. I promised the group I wouldn't have any Well, then I will say we will adjourn this meeting at 7.05. Yeah, that was all part of it. Oh.